Okay, what we have here is three standard AA batteries. One and a half volts, they are LR6 industrial alkaline non rechargeable batteries. And I just want to show you quickly how you can recharge these batteries and use them over and over again. As you can see with this battery here, all I've done is just started to peel back the case with a pair of side cutters. And what you can see there is you can see carbon on the outside and there's an inner core, this is the uh, negative, this end, and there's an inner core that you can pull back to reveal the inside. show you a bit more of that in a moment. This outer core has a seal on it. Let's just see if we can zoom in a bit. And that seal is basically made of rubber, which means it's not a very good seal. You know what I'll do is I'll cut away the rest of this show you what's inside. Okay you can see here that I've stripped away some of the remainder of the outer core and there you can see an inner core. Now what you've got in that inner core is carbon around the outside and in that inner core you have a kind of sludge which I can show you if I scrape some out. Now these batteries are called alkaline batteries because that sludge, the alkaline, is used as a kind of electrolyte which allows the sludge to conduct. Now what that sludge is, is what's known in the trade as electrinium sludge. And it's actually bonded pairs of metals that resonate in harmony. Usually it's something like nickel cadmium, cadmium or nickel hydride. Because in this case it's called an alkaline battery, they don't tell you what the pairs of metals are. Now what happens in a rechargeable battery, when you charge it, you force, force electric current through it the wrong way. And what the effect is, is it aligns the bonded pairs of metals, bonded molecules, in all in a certain direction, which gives them a positive charge. And when the battery is fully charged and you use it in an application like your camera or a toy or a flashlight or whatever, then the molecules begin to... Basically what happens when you charge a battery, you align the atoms in the battery sludge all in a certain direction, similar to when you charge a magnet with another magnet so all the atoms line up in a certain direction when they're all lined up as best that they can possibly be then the battery is considered fully charged okay now when you discharge the battery i.e. when you use it then those pairs of atoms begin to become out of alignment when they are completely disarrayed then the battery is considered flat now the thing about these alkaline batteries is they're not built to last now what happens, they tell, you on, they tell you on the outside of the packaging what happens if, if you try and recharge it, it will leak or explode and that's highly likely because when you charge it and you force electric current through it backwards the alkaline solution in there starts to fizz and heat up and react it probably wouldn't explode unless you put it on a bonfire or you charged it with the wrong kind of charger and put too much electricity through it but then they're designed not to be recharged. Now if you're thinking about doing this experiment at home and open, opening a battery for yourself, one thing you want to keep in mind is if it's a, a nickel cadmium battery then the cadmium is highly toxic, it's a heavy metal and it can cause irritant to your skin and your eyes and if it's ingested or gets into your system it can also cause you problems with your respiration system so uh, don't handle it 
like I said, the reason they tell you not to recharge them is because they might leak or explode. Now these are three LR6AA industrial alkaline batteries, 1.5 volts, that were completely flat. There wasn't enough power in them even to power up my digital camera, which I'm using at the moment. Now what I did was I put four of those on my charger for about five hours and one of them did leak. But what you can do if you want to recharge them is instead of putting them on for hours on end you just put them on for an hour at a time just to show you that these batteries actually can be recharged okay here's my torch and I'll take the batteries out of this one okay two of these that were completely flat about five hours ago There goes the seal. Completely flat. And there you go, good to go. So instead of chucking out your AA alkaline batteries, you can charge them up. But like I said, charge them up for an hour at a time. Charge them three or four or five times, but only for an hour at a time. But what you must keep in mind is you don't put them on charge and then go away and forget about them because they will leak and they might explode and if they short circuit they could damage your charger as well okay that's my little video thanks for watching but what you can do okay weather then 